just got stained on the wrong part of the coffee table. <clears throat> Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel where I post literally whatever I feel like doing that day. So without any rhyme or reason, let's jump into today's video. whatever the heck I feel like doing. And that means today I feel like doing a DIY project. So as I give you a little bit of insight to what this channel is going to be, I am going to be decorating a table tray, which I will insert a photo of it right here. And uh, my original plan was to go through the whole process of staining it because I did get it at like a pretty it was a pretty bare wooden color and so i originally had filmed an entire process of me staining the tray which i will insert a little clip of now but i did actually film the entire video in the wrong mode on my camera anyway um i'm going to continue decorating since i initially was only going to stain it then when I realized I kind of messed up the video, I decided to take it a step further and add some gold paint. So I picked up some paint tape, which is just blue scotch tape, I think, and I'm going to walk through the steps of putting the tape on in the like pattern that I want. So I just bought spray paint. <laughs> so I'm going to spray paint some gold designs onto my table tray. So that is more or less the intro to this video and let's jump into the DIY. I have this metallic gold spray paint that I'm going to use and then I have this glitter gl glitter blast one that I think that I want to try to I don't know, do something with. We'll see. Glitter is always a little bit of a difficult thing to use just because it can get really messy. So I have my blue tape and I'm going to, I was back and forth on what kind of design I wanted to do, but I think I'm just gonna do like diagonal or like, you know, lines, so. Hopefully I don't fume myself out. Oh man. always loved the idea of being on YouTube. I have wanted to do something on video for a long time. I went to school for sports broadcasting and so you know I wanted to be a reporter very much like how Aaron Andrews is on ESPN. So you know that didn't really kind of go in my favor once I graduated college. I kind of made different choices. I moved to New York City um, about six months after I graduated and it was probably one of the best decisions I could have ever made. So if you don't already follow me on social media, I will post those links below, but I have always been one that expresses and shares my story and my journey because I have found that being authentic and what I have had to go through has helped a lot of other people in their lives and getting through things that they may be struggling with. So that's kind of also what led me to YouTube. You don't have to have this full on planned out theme for YouTube, but you can kind of just make it whatever you want. And that's like my life. My life has been literally whatever I make it. So that's what led me to just deciding to do whatever the heck I want on YouTube, whether it be a DIY, a makeup, not even a tutorial, just like makeup tips or reviews. I do a lot of skincare product reviews and whatnot. I love giving advice, whether it be personal or, you know, relationship or anything that you kind of dealing with. I love to talk about, I'm not like a fully organized person, sadly enough, but you know, that's what I think will make this YouTube channel fun. And I think that's what's going to make people want to come watch. I hope <laughs> is that some days, you know, maybe I want to do DIY. Maybe one day I want to sit down and cook something on camera for you because I do love to post recipes and cook and do all sorts of fun things like that. 
and sometimes maybe you'll just come to read about some life advice that I give, you know? So that's kind of what I wanted to make this channel about. I wanted to make it something that could just be fun. It could be original. It could be me being my true self. You know, I didn't want to put a lot of pressure on myself to come up with a specific plan because that's just not my personality. I'm kind of all over the place a lot of the time. So, you know, that's kind of what led me here. And I figured what better time than right now with everything going on in the world to really invest into something that you're passionate about. And, you know, I've always said that if you're not happy with what you have currently going on, change it. You're in control of the situation. You're in control of your life. Like, you can change things whenever you want to. So, so I lived in New York for about five years. It was amazing. I really, really enjoyed my time there. I miss it sometimes. And I'm sure I'll visit it again, but, you know, who knows. But, you know, after I moved and fulfilled my dreams of living in a big city, I wanted to move somewhere warm. So in 2019, I packed up my belongings and moved to Florida. And I didn't have a job. I didn't have any friends. I didn't have a car. All I really had was an apartment and my ambition. And next thing you know, it is, those are probably not even, but they look good to me. Next thing you know, it has been almost two years that I've lived here and I've made friends. I had an awesome job that, you know, I am no longer work for that company, but that's okay because like I mentioned already, this is a time where I really want to go for something that I'm passionate about and something that I care about. And that's being me. That's being genuine. That's being funny. That's being real. That's, you know, really kind of what led me to this platform. So this is taking a while, so I'm gonna just finish up taping this and we'll reconvene in a minute. Okay, so that took a lot longer than I expected, but thankfully in YouTube time, you didn't have to sit here with me while I did the entire thing. Um, the lines are probably not completely even, but I don't care, it's a DIY and that's what makes it fun for me. So I'm going to start with my metallic, metallic, metallic spray paint. I should be doing this outside, but it is very windy and I live in an apartment building and just going all the way downstairs just a little bit too much. So yes, do this in a very ventilated space. I am doing it in my living room. I have the door open, I have a fan on. We're gonna hope for the best. So this could go really wrong or it could look really great, but anyway. Jenna Marbles, who I really hope comes back onto YouTube someday. Um, she's kind of always just been someone that doesn't follow the trends. She wants to hear from her followers, and that's something that I really hope to do is to create a good type of bond, you know, with my followers because I want to post things that people want to see. And, you know, as I do in my blog, with I just thought that a video version would be a little more fun and so that is kind of what I aspire to do and just make this something that is fun for everyone to kind of be a part of. Following something that you're passionate about is really a hard thing for a lot of people to do. A lot of people are afraid of taking a risk or facing something that is just really unfamiliar to them. and. I think that it keeps people from reaching their full potential for a lot of reasons and in a lot of ways. So I think that I really hope to help inspire and motivate people to want to follow their own goals and dreams or maybe create some goals that they would have thought was unobtainable in the past. My life has been far from perfect. It's been far from planned out, but that's what makes it an exciting adventure. And I think that that's what people want to see. They want to see struggles they want to see difficulty i actually had a whole different video in mind for this like intro video and i spent so much time planning it and organizing it and i didn't even end up liking the final product so that just kind of made me realize that i don't need to spend all these hours planning to get the perfect video because that's not what it's going to be all the time 
If you have an idea that you want to follow through with, you know, don't wait for the perfect time because you never know. The perfect time might not even exist and you just need to try it. You know what I mean? So that's where I say, oh, no. <laughs> I, I just got spray paint on the carpet, so. Oh, no. There's spray paint on the carpet. <laughs> that's okay. It's my carpet. So as I was saying before I just completely ruined my carpet, there may never be a perfect time to follow through with something that you have put on the back burner for so long. So if there's something that you're toying around with, let this be your green light to go for it. Go achieve whatever it is that you are dreaming of. Don't let the fear of failure hold you back because you can always try something else, you know? People are afraid of running out of time, but I think that time is a perspective. You have as much time as you want. It just depends on how you use it. So here is the finished product. Like I said, the lines weren't as perfect as they could have been, but with the tape and the angles, it was kind of hard. But anyway, I do kind of like the gold on the black because it looks like a little bit more, I don't know, classy for a piece of wood. Anyway, that is all that I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, hope you smash that like button so I know. And if you have any suggestions or ideas for future videos, please drop them down below. Also, you can feel free to follow me on other social medias. All of them are linked down below as well. And please be sure to check out my next vlog on the breath of fresh air. And I hope you guys continue to come along this journey with me. Bye.